Hey everybody. So the other day was my birthday and I end up getting a couple kits and I wanted to end up showing them to you. So I end up getting a couple. That wasn't a couple videos ago. I end up having one of these from the trade show and you have they have the 69, the 70 and the 71. There's slight differences in each one and I end up getting the other two. So this is the 1971 um, Accurate Miniatures McLaren MAB. So I end up having that one. And uh, that is a really cool looking kit. Now all three of these I plan on trying to take my time and make these look as good as I can. I want to have a little stand to hold the doors so it looks like they're wheeling it in the pit road. These wheels do come off and they have the brake details and all that. So I want to take advantage of that and I want to do a very good job and uh, make them look as best as I can. And uh, here is the other one. This one is the 69. This one's got the huge wing. It looks like the velocity stacks a little bit higher. Uh, I might do a video unboxing all three of these spend some time and do some comparisons and maybe to do it after I build all three of them as well but you've got the longer wing it looks like the little bit different wiring but I think the main chassis is quite similar to the other ones it does have a rubber seat in each one but um, the body does all come apart it's got the exploding body panels and everything so I end up getting both both of those now I have all three And my wife has a thing for station wagons, so I've got the 55 Nomad uh, gasser. And you can build it in multiple ways. You can build it stock, you can build a gas like on the cover, and then they also have this the top notch custom pickup. Now that is pretty cool, but I really do like the gasser, and I think I'll end up building this as a gasser. It comes with red glass and everything like that. And you can see the back there, all the parts that come in it. They must have did some nice modifying because they did have some extra stickers on there. So they must have added some parts from the last time this was printed. So, or they changed the way they look. So there might be some nice differences in this from the others. And I finally got me a Salvino's JR Models. Expensive as hell. I looked inside. It does look pretty good. A lot of people did say it's a good kit and everything. But um, I do have an idea with this car. And I don't know how easy it's going to be to do. But uh, if you guys follow NASCAR, uh, you know, Chase Elliott's out. And for the um, Texas race, they had uh, Jordan Taylor in racing it he did pretty good except for at the end a couple guys kind of blocked him and pushed him back 10 places but he was qualified like fourth and everything and if anybody knows who jordan taylor is you know he's a he's probably about my age and he does very well in the endurance racing he drives the corvette and uh matter of fact i'll get it out right here so he drives this for a living and uh, he used to drive the uh, the prototype with his dad. His team, the number 10 prototype. His brother actually races in that. But anyhow, I would like to find a way to make the decals. And I'm going to Photoshop them up and try. And I want to make this car look like his. And uh, hopefully nobody else will have one like that unless they go through all the trouble I did. But... Um, one of the reasons I really don't watch NASCAR right now is I just really haven't, you know, grown as a fan to any of these race car drivers. You know, a lot of them seem young and, you know, cocky and all that stuff. And I just, I don't like it compared to the old guys. I'd rather watch them. And most of them are all gone. So I don't have any interest in it. I watch all the kind of racing and NASCAR is probably the, 
at least I watched, but I did watch that race. I thought he did pretty good for being a rookie driver in it. So, I think it would be cool to have a car of his. So I got one of these. I'm going to try to get decals. If anybody knows who uh, does some good decal work or point me in the right direction of who can do custom decals with high quality. I don't want to go through all that trouble and then have it be, uh, you know, just a photocopy or something like that. I like to have them so they actually look like what would come in the kit. Uh, leave a comment down there and kind of tell me who's out there that does that kind of stuff. So the one thing I end up getting was this. It is a um, lab stirrer and uh, what it does is you push it down and it'll actually vibrate. It's for mixing paint test tubes. You know, usually, usually a tube's like this. You put it in there and it mixes it up. But this one is for paint. It does work with every kind of paint. You know, these little metal jars and everything like that. And just to show you, this is that flat. Um, So normally in this you can just shake it up and it's fine. But one thing I've noticed is you might not see it on the glass so much. But when you get like something like this, this has been actually semi-hard. It's almost been like a clay. And I've had it on here like you know, like this where it's you know vibrating that in. I would open it up and it's never been that runny as it has been before so it's not perfect but it's been better than what I've been doing in the past it's just shaking it or putting a toothpick in it and stirring it so that has been pretty nice and another thing I got was the green stuff world green putty the one thing I've noticed is you can't get the uh, squadron products Dang it, come on out of there. This Squadron Products Green Putty. I can't find this anymore to discontinued it. I don't know why. Um, if it is true and it's discontinued, I think that's pretty damn stupid of them. It, you know, there ain't no other product like this. I use the Bondo and all that stuff. That stuff is still the best. So I've seen this as kind of said to be the same I haven't cracked it open but I do see it's acrylic and um, you know to me a stuff a junk in my opinion it sands right out it don't bond like that stuff that squadron green it actually is an enamel based solvent based and um, it gets really hard it does have a little bit of shrinkage but for what it does is I could do that sand it and then use spot punny bondo and actually finish it up not have to worry about it but um so there's that everything else i end up getting was not model based was actually backpacking based so i'm not gonna go through all that but uh that's where i'm at now and uh i'll talk to you guys next time have a good one bye